right here can be really hard to get back out of here. Pretty easy, honestly. Okay, maybe not. Didn't slip one time coming down. So I know as all of you are extremely well aware, it's been bitterly cold the last few weeks here in the Midwest, North, everywhere. The lakes are very, very, uh, all the lakes are very frozen over. I've never been ice fishing. I don't have any of the equipment to do it, any of the gear to do it. And I don't really know what I'm doing. And frankly, it's kind of always sketched me out being out on ice. I never really knew how cold it got here compared to how cold it needed to be for lakes to really freeze over. But since it's really gotten in a cold snap, and I know that it's been cold enough now for lakes to freeze over, it's been as cold here as it normally is in like Canada and stuff all year round where they ice fish all the time. So I really started doing some research, and I found that the ice has really got to be about four inches thick. The clearer the ice, the stronger the ice. So if it's not really super clear, and it's kind of white and stained like it is right now, it needs to be a little thicker, probably six inches to eight inches, about double the strength. And uh, so I decided today I'd get out here, I'd come out to the Boy Scout camp, and I'd see how uh, frozen over the ponds here are, because I knew there was a dock and I could get out on the water a little bit farther and kind of look at the ice a little bit, and just to bring the dogs out and everything. And the dogs love the ice, I swear really makes me wish I would have went and bought some ice fishing equipment when it really started to get cold when I knew it was going to be cold enough to possibly do some ice fishing and then I could have got some ice fishing stuff now it's starting to warm up I don't know how long the ice will actually stay on the lakes ponds whatever I really need to get out to like the reservoir and see if it's really frozen over like it's huge body of water they say when huge bodies of water freeze they stay frozen a lot longer in the pond so if the lake's frozen then I could possibly do ice fishing for a week or two or better. I, I don't really know. I haven't done enough research about ice fishing, really. But this is a fairly decent sized pond, you know. And it's frozen right here on the bank. I'm, I don't want to venture out in the middle because then if it's not, then I fall through and I'm by myself. Not a good idea. But I just slowly, with a really... The dogs decided they wanted to go on the water, so then I was like, well, if the dogs are out there, then and it's not making any noises like cracking or what, and, I mean, they weigh half of what I weigh, but, so I stepped down on the edge, I mean, I could see that it looked really thick, and from my research, it said four inches is safe, so it looks like it's ten inches, so, thought I'd try it, it's really dangerous of me, but, really wish I had an auger so I could tell, but. I don't know if there's any people ice fishing uh, like uh, around me, like immediate around me. I haven't really talked to anybody, I don't know. But uh, I'd like to know. Maybe I could get out with them some someday, learn whatever they know about it, so that uh, maybe next year I can do it. Because I'm sure that it gets cold enough, at least for a few weeks in the winter here, that the ponds freeze over safe enough to ice fish at least a week or two out of the winter. I'm sure of that. I know it did last year because I came out here and, the, and this pond was frozen over. Not this much ice, I'm sure. I never 
I, I didn't even chance to walk on it last year because I knew nothing about ice. I just knew that it was extremely dangerous. I'll tell you one thing though, and this makes me want to go straight home and uh, order an auger offline. And uh, I know the old Wally world has some uh, cheap ice fishing rods, like 10 bucks. I know they obviously aren't the greatest quality or whatnot, but just getting into ice fishing and try, or just uh, trying it for the first time, perfect. Um, probably get some decent line. Then just buy some little hooks and whatnot, just what I've seen uh, people using and stuff. And might try to ice fish this week or something. It'll be cold. The ice ain't gonna melt that quick, so. I'm not gonna promise anything, but there might be a first time ice fishing video. And some ice fishing videos coming up. I would really, really like to catch a fish. I haven't caught a fish in over a month. Hello. All right, we're, we're attempting the hill. There's actually a bear spot right here. So that's what I'm gonna walk up. It's gonna be slick. There was some water on the ice, but that's just because it's been above freezing today. I'm sure there was probably some snow on the ice that melted, and probably a little bit of the top layer of ice is melted, but no biggie. Whew, I need to work out a little more. Hill winded me. Well, we're almost to the drug, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little walk around venture into the ice and just my thoughts on yeah all that I guess Ooh, that's hot oh that's hot mm. and I will hopefully see you out on some ice here in a few weeks thanks for tuning in guys and I'll catch you on the next one